In this video, we'll try to answer the question, what is WooCommerce? What does it do? Is it free? How to get started with it? And so much more. So let's get straight into it. What is WooCommerce? WooCommerce is a free open source platform made for WordPress. WordPress is a popular content management system that allows you to create various different blogs and applications. According to w 3 Techs, WordPress currently powers over 43% of the entire internet, which is crazy. Okay, so back to WooCommerce. WooCommerce is the plugin that allows you to turn your website into a full blown e-commerce platform. With WooCommerce, you can sell anything from t-shirts, clothing, bed, and so on, right? Let's have a quick look at a few stores using WooCommerce. Right, so if we check out this website here, it's powered by WooCommerce. So we can truly customize the experience to cater to our brand requirement, right? Again, this store is currently powered by WooCommerce. Okay, so is this one. And so is this subscription meal kit website. Okay, so that's just a quick look at a few examples of websites using WooCommerce. Right, now to the cost. Is WooCommerce free? Yes, it's an open source platform, which is free. And you can head over to wordpress.org and just download it free of charge. The only caveat to this is you will need your own um, domain, which is a given, right? And you'll also need a hosting. You can get hosting from anywhere from $2 a month to even free. I don't recommend getting a free hosting if you're looking to run a serious business online, right? So I'd recommend just paying for the hosting, whether it's $2 a month, or $50 a month, whatever the cost is, just make sure you're paying for the hosting, right? So you just need a hosting and then you're good to go. You can download and install this plugin onto your WordPress website. Most hosting accounts as well, they usually have a one click installation for WordPress. And then essentially you just go ahead and add this to your WordPress site. But more on that later, I'll share a link which actually walks you through the step by step process of creating a website from start. OK, if we go to WooCommerce.com, well, now it's just Woo.com. You can go for their hosted solution, right? So if we hit get started here, we can go ahead and hold Host it with any of these hosting companies, or we can try WooCommerce hosted solution itself, right? So whichever you choose is totally up to you. So how popular is WooCommerce? Is this a niche thing or how successful is it? Well, here we can see that it's currently actively used, right? By over 5 million different domains, right? This number could be a lot higher as well. It's, it's super popular. And in fact, one in three online stores is powered by WooCommerce. Now let's transition into three reasons why store owners like WooCommerce. And then we'll have a look at a few reasons why they don't like WooCommerce. So let's have a look at the positive first. So the stores that we work with, the main reason why they like WooCommerce is that it's super customizable, right? You can customize the theme. You can customize pretty much any element on your website, right? It's not like a block box like Shopify, like most their checkout pages and certain other functionalities. It's just off limit. You can't touch it. So store owners like WooCommerce due to the customization option. As I said, usually there's a plugin for it or you can hire a developer, which since WordPress is so popular, there's loads of WordPress developers to help you out. Another reason why they like WooCommerce is the fact that it's easy to set up and get started. As I said, you can get started for pretty much free. And with that one click installation, it just makes the entire setup process even easier. So another reason to love WooCommerce WooCommerce is it's quite cost effective. So when you compare it to a solution like Shopify, the cost is cheaper. For example, um, a lot of customers that we work with want to customize the checkout page in WooCommerce. That's super easy to do. And you can use a plugin, a free plugin, like the all in one checkout plugin. Well, in Shopify, if, if you want this level of customization, you'd have to go for Shopify Plus, which at the time of recording this, if I'm not mistaken, starts at $2,500 a month. OK, so currently at the time of recording this to sign up for Shopify Plus, you'd have to sign up for the base plan, which is $2,500 a month 
or you can sign up for a free year package which reduces it to 2300 a month and that's just a small example of the cost difference between a platform like shopify and woocommerce right whereas at the time of recording this you can get our checkout plugin for free and the paid plan starts at something like 15 dollars a month or something like that right that's another reason to love woocommerce why customers we work with don't like woocommerce so typically a lot of the customers that we work with they've got a zillion plugins right not literally but they've got lots of different plugins that they're using maybe a plugin to display free shipping bar maybe a plugin to display pop-up all sorts of different functionality and over time after a while it kind of gets difficult to manage all those different plugins right because they'll need updating at different times maybe sometimes things will break things will conflict with each other and it can be a nightmare at times right so that's one reason why some store owners don't like WooCommerce another reason which kind of relates to the first reason is usually WordPress updates WordPress is an open source CMS as I said and the community helps to regularly update it and fix any bugs performance improvements and so on but with those updates sometimes things can break right so maybe there's a latest update and for whatever reason you're using a plugin that hasn't updated the code to be compatible with the latest version and then something breaks right so there's different things like that that you have to manage so you have to be more hands-on in managing the store tech right whereas with shopify it's almost done in the background for you how do you actually get started with woocommerce i'll leave a link on screen to a video and in the description below showing you how to start a woocommerce store from the beginning to the end right it's pretty straightforward the key things you'll need you'll need your domain such as sally's awesome t-shirts.com and then we'll need a hosting account somewhere where we want to host all the different files wordpress right so whenever someone types in sally's awesome t-shirts.com we can serve them that content right on our website but again as i said the video link that i'll leave in the description will walk you through exactly how to set that up okay and then finally once you've got started i also want to share with you a few must have woocommerce plugin that every store owner should start with or at least consider most of them are free some are paid but it's well worth taking a look at most of the successful stores that we work with they use a lot of these types of plugins to run a successful successful online store. Okay, and then finally, I want to leave you with a list of free WooCommerce themes to get started to make sure your store looks amazing on a desktop, mobile, and across all types of devices, right? So I'll leave a link in the description below to those free themes that I personally recommend. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.